Welcome, family and friends around the world, to our fifth praise and prayer from our upper room. We're all squashed in here, but the Holy Spirit is with us and going to lead us today into the presence of the Lord. We pray that you will press in. We pray that you will worship with us. We pray that you will focus on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, our King, our Lord, our Savior. He is a good God, and no matter what we're facing in this world, He remains good. Situations and circumstances change, but He never does. He is faithful. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we can build our lives on the rock that is Christ Jesus. He is good. He is good. I want you to believe that today with us. Believe it and drink in His goodness as we worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Lord, you are good.
what is happening around us. The trials, the difficulties, the frustration, the fears, the pain, the sickness, the death. You are good. Jesus, you are the light of the world and you came to bring light in the darkness. You came to bring hope to the hopeless. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the Savior of the world. You are good. You are good. We believe your goodness. We believe that you are good. Lord, you are good. Hallelujah.
praises, I sing praises, I give you
give you all the glory. For you alone are worthy of all our praise, our adoration, our thanks. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. We magnify you. Lord, we need you. And Father, we ask your forgiveness. worshipped you as you deserve. Your people have not sought first your kingdom and your righteousness. Your people have not loved and lived your word. Your people have not sought your presence. Your word says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. I will hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Lord, your word does not say if the world, but if my people we are your people. Forgive us, Lord. We've not been living as we should. Forgive us, Lord. We've not been united as we should have been. We've not loved you with all our heart and soul and mind and strength. We've not loved one another as you have loved us. Forgive us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you, Jesus, that you became a curse for us that we might receive the blessing. Thank you, Jesus, that you laid down your life that we might have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, that you shed your blood and paid the price for our sin. You defeated sin and you defeated death. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for your patience. And Lord, where we have endeavored to be the Lord of our own lives, where we have allowed our denominations or our gender or our position in society or who we are, what we have done, what we have achieved, what we long for, what we, our dreams and our hopes, our lives have taken priority and precedence instead of you. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for having allowed other things to occupy our hearts or our minds or our thoughts or our actions instead of you, your word, your will, and your ways. So Lord, we come to you on behalf of the body of Christ. And we repent. We turn from our own sinful, wicked, selfish ways. And we turn back to you. We humble ourselves before you. We choose to invite you to take first, best, and center place in our lives. Not just today, but forever. We bow down before you. We bow down.
possible for you, Lord. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would turn this situation around. Every difficult 